Hey, this is Gabe. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about this ShopFox X and Y Access Drill Press Mill. I bought this on Amazon. It was like um, 80 some dollars, $89 or something like that. I bought this to replace this uh, cheap one that I bought on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Um, this worked good for a little while. It looks a little funny because I cut like six inches of it off. I tried to mount this to my lathe. And um, even though I was able to do it, it still had too much play in it. And the result was terrible. So I'm going to toss this. And that's what brought me to this right here. So this X and Y axis is really good it's got like six inches of travel or something like that and uh, we're gonna mount this to my um, mini lathe so in order to do that we're gonna need a jig and uh, famous words always need a jig this is a simple jig here this mounts this and uh, this lengthwise orientation here like this these bolts here hook up to over here along the side. And um, these right here drop inside the, the tool bed. And then you just tighten those up and uh, get, the, get that square. And then you're pretty much good to go. You can use this on the wood lathe uh, with a couple attachments. And uh, you've got yourself a functioning um, metal lathe in a sense, but I would never use it for turning metal. I'm only using it for acrylic. Some guys do this and then that you see them demonstrating uh, the similar technique, similar type of thing, uh, doing the same thing, uh, doing it with metal. Um, before you blast me in the comments, that is not my intention on this. Uh, only to do to do this to round acrylics because I hate rounding square blank acrylics. It's just labor intensive, messy, and it takes way too long. So for me, this was a simple fix and uh, makes it much more enjoyable to use. Now this does not work with wood with the metal tools that I bought from Harbor Freight. These are the tools I bought from Harbor Freight. It's like a, a, a six piece set and it was like 20 bucks. These are all carbide tipped. Um, I'm sure these work good for certain applications, just not for wood. And then we'll get this hooked up and then we'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are at the lathe. This is the jig. Now you notice this step down design right here. Well, this is flush with this right here. And then that's going to drop in. So this is flush and the tool sets flush right here. It's going to overhang onto the back right here. Let's put these bolts in. Okay, after we got all this uh, tightened up here, I'm just going to take a quick grip and then clamp that base. Now it's rock solid. Being that the metal of this, the back of this uh, XY uh, mill is resting on the actual tool itself. Um, this is mainly for stability. And like, again, it's not, I've designed it to not uh, do metal. So it's, it's fine for my application. You know what? I think I need to move it over further. Okay, I've got it moved over far enough now. So now the question is, how do we get the tool onto here? Because this is such a wide opening. So for this application, I'm gonna use this one here. This is a little bit longer 
and the, the point is a little bit tapered instead of being uh, flat it's a little bit further out so this little piece of 2x4 with this little groove set in the side fits in here like that now this drops flush right here and then this is measured to give me the top dead center of this right here or the the middle of this so when i squeeze that in place that is now uh, perpendicular with that right there now i can advance this forward reverse left to right so let's give it a shot and see how it works Just cleaning up the edge. Not bad, pretty good little uh, version there for rounding that sort of stuff down. So anyway, like I said, just a quick video of using an XY axis on your wood lathe if you don't have a metal lathe. All right, thanks for watching, have a good week. Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You can click on the link right here and subscribe. You can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.